Was King Richard III the gnarled and evil hunchback Shakespeare portrayed him as? New research aims to shed light on the personality of the last Plantagenet monarch. Scientists at Leicester University's Department of Genetics have sequenced the complete genome of Richard III. The team, led by Professor Tory King, who in 2013 matched DNA from bones discovered under a car park in Leicester with living relatives of the monarch, confirmed the remains belonged to him. The study seeks to find new insights into the king's health and appearance, and scientists are examining potential associations of genes with personality traits, including psychopathy, narcissism and a propensity to commit violence. It is hoped the research may provide a definitive answer to the debate over whether Shakespeare's loathsome portrayal of Richard was justified, or if the king was a victim of vicious Tudor propaganda. Richard has long been suspected of ordering the murder of the princes in the Tower, King Edward V and Richard, Duke of York, in 1483. The princes were the sons of King Edward IV, and when their father died, their uncle, King Richard III, locked them up in the Tower of London while he acted as regent. Their disappearance and believed murder was said to have led to the greatest cold case in English history, which continues to this day. Commenting on Richard's genome, Professor King said, It's really interesting and runs the gamut from his blood type to was he lactose intolerant to was he genetically predisposed to baldness or heart disease. She said analysis could also help reveal scoliosis, the curvature of the spine which was seen in his skeleton. It is believed the condition explains why the bard portrayed him as a hunchback. It is also hoped that Richard's genome will give a better understanding of his appearance. A 2013 facial reconstruction was based on his skeleton and more rudimentary genetic research, as well as a portrait of him which is believed to be a Tudor copy of an original. Richard's genome could also give better predictions of his possible hair and eye colour, as well as his skin tone and even the chances of him suffering from hair loss. The study may also reveal whether Richard carried genes which left him predisposed to aggression. But Professor King sounded a note of caution and said research shedding light on his personality was an area of genetics which is still extremely fuzzy. She said developments would never prove if Richard was horrible because of other nurture-led factors such as upbringing and experiences would have a bearing on his overall personality. Richard III's remains were discovered in 2012 by experts who had used historic maps to trace a friary where he was thought to have been buried after being killed at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. He was found under a car park in Leicester after a three-week search. The skeleton displayed symptoms of severe scoliosis, which could account for Shakespeare's cruel description of him as rudely stamped, deformed, unfinished. In 2013, the monarch's remains were reburied in Leicester Cathedral in a stunning tomb. What do you think about Richard III? Was he a psychopathic monster or a cruelly defamed victim of a Shakespearean propaganda operation? Or was he something in between? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. Thank you for watching.